Good morning YouTube, it's Sunday the 24th of July 2022 and the main job for today is to get the tail on this thing and get it back up in the air again because it's going to be pretty windy. So this is the new tail that I've decided upon and I'm also going to weld this bit back on uh, to make it a bit longer. I'll remove this thing just there and uh, extend it to make it a little bit longer. I'll have to put some something to support the tail on the inside but we'll get to that. I've decided it's probably best to use the existing holes that are there and run it up pretty much as close as you can. So let me just get the tape measure. Here's the tape measure. So the tail, the piece of metal, is 31 and a quarter inches, which is 795 millimetres by 2 feet uh, 615 millimetres. Hello Milfreds. So, at the minute, it has a length of 166 centimetres, so 65 and a quarter inches. Milfrid, kick out, kick out, kick out. Kick out, Milfrid. Oh no. So with the extra bit on it, if I weld it on, it's 195 centimetres, uh, 76 and a half inches. And that angle gives you a pretty good view comparing the sizes of the two tails. You can see, I guess, area-wise, it's about twice the size. And there on the left, you can see the bit that was removed. Maybe I should have kept it on. It should be okay, that size. It was following the wind pretty well with the smaller tail, but due to the size of the blades and the force of the rotation, it's almost like it's trying to furl. And obviously it can't, because it's not a furling design type tail, and then it turns out of the wind, but that's what we're going to get to the bottom of, and a big tail should make a difference. There's a pretty good close-up. There's a pretty good close-up of the chunk of metal I'm using to balance the blade assembly. I would like to give this a clean and a paint, but it doesn't matter really. It's just surface rust. It's not going to fall apart anytime soon. I'd like to give the motor a clean. I will, before it goes back up, I will just check that that new gear I'll put on is nice and tight. This is solid, really solid. Very, very interesting point. I've actually ordered, so this, this is a tw uh, 28 tooth. I've ordered a 37 tooth. It's so big, it's gonna be a struggle to fit in there. And I've ordered an, an 18 tooth to go on there. So if this performs super duper well today, then there's absolutely no reason why I can't gear it up some more. I have to really get rid of these things because they're a pain in the ass to look at. So I may end up using my plasma cutter, I don't know. But yeah, I have to get rid of them and put the tail on. So I've got everything we need, I think. Just got to get this squared up as good as possible. There we go. That galvanized steel gets very hot. If you wanted something to use to heat something up. Just got to tighten this clamp up a bit to allow access for the drill, even though it is tight enough. Pretty good, I'll just go get the drill. Uh, all my batteries, unfortunately, are empty. So I've put them on to charge. I like these small Bosch ones. They don't last as long, they're so lightweight. With my bad shoulder, this has been a really good deal. And I do have a impact driver, which is nice and light, which I use for certain things. So we believe it on from Bizzle, and then we'll be cracking on. What I'm thinking is, I could always add some steel angle like this to increase rigidity. Depending on how much it bothers my shoulder, drilling these. I may end up drilling some extra holes here, in case I want to do that. I'll drill the holes in this, in the drill press. And then, yeah, that may spread the action a little bit. If you get what I'm saying, I want to avoid welding this at all costs. Because A, I don't have any experience in welding it, and B, I know, uh, I've been told it's going to bend very easily, so I'll avoid that. We'll use bolts, it'll look very tidy. So just wait for the drill, and then we'll get that done. Sweet! Really looking forward to uh, seeing this beauty. It'll be the first time since we've changed the gear ratios and it's got proper wind. Unfortunately, the wind direction will be from behind those trees and from there. We'll just have a quick recap on that, seeing as that is my channel. Uh, wind from the north, very strong. And then we head round to the more southerly, more common wind direction, which is partially blocked. And then at this point, it's clear through there, but the house is behind. So if it comes from the east, over the hedge, it's not too bad. South, 50 50. Uh, that way, heading westy, very good, very good clearance. And that way, round to the north, 
uh, the wind is twice as powerful when it comes from that direction, effectively. So still got stuff to do on the tower. I've still got to finish the gin pole palace. Sorry, that's probably the wrong word. The tower is 100% homemade, but still functions pretty well. Elon's leg, and strong. That M10 bolt there took a direct hit. Fell about 10 feet with all the weight on it. So big up the M10 bolt. We'll wait for the drills, and then we'll certainly be on this bizzle. I'm feeling very excited about it. See it. This is a good quick shot to show you how big the blades actually are, and let's compare them to these. Sweet! It is tempting to put that on there, but we'll just see how the new tail takes care of any furling attempts. Because obviously we don't need a furling uh, tail. Let me explain why. The reason we don't need a furling tail is because this motor has an uh, inbuilt kind of whoa, inherent drag effect. Need to make sure that isn't that. There you go, bogus. Whoa. That's fine. But yes, my idea is that this motor actually has an inbuilt governor by the fact that it just takes a lot to turn, whereas an axial flux doesn't. I've never said it's better than an axial flux. Uh, it may have advantages over an axial flux, which we'll talk about more once the power starts coming in. Uh, but yeah, feeling good. I'm still waiting for the drills. Oh, sorry, this video has ended up being more waffle than necessary. It'll be interesting to see if people enjoy it. This thing's still going strong. 15 pounds. Really happy with that. It's got an adjustable guide thing. Nice clean cuts. You can pour water all over it while it's running. Sweet. So that's pretty much a job well done. Removing the old tail, cleaning this up a bit. I'm gonna put some weld on here and here. And then we need to make a groove, a bracket, so that the tail can slide in around. And good news, the wind's getting piped up. It will see some good wind today for sure. Uh, drilling, not a fan of drilling because my shoulder doesn't like it. Job it's wrapped. Oh, the, li the little step drill bit pulled through. You may know my unusual style of drilling. It's because my shoulder's so knackered. I've got a big ice pack in here. If I lean on the drill with my ice pack in, it doesn't hurt, and it doesn't hurt my shoulder or my arm, so that is a bit weird, I know. But... I've said it before, these, these step drill bits from Lidl are unbelievable. That, that is a Bosch Pointech, I've not even used that many times and it's ruined. And that's, uh, just got to finish off this one. There you go. Straight away, let's see if it fits, shall we? That's in there, that's in there. That one's perfect. Let me go find the bolts. Yo, so let's see how this goes. These bolts aren't great, but once they're in, I can give them a clean up with the wire brush, no problem. Yeah, 
Uh, it's nearly three o'clock, I'm running behind schedule. I need to drill at least one hole in here, probably best drill two. Uh, minimum 12 mil, one there and one there. That's gonna act as something I can tighten up to push down to hold the tail in place, all will be revealed. So I'm gonna use this in my drill press. I won't film it, it should take me about five minutes. Right, this is a better angle to show you how these two bits need to be welded together. Like that. So, yeah, that's all I need to do. And you see we have these two holes at the top. I'm gonna to weld nuts onto those, and yes, all will be revealed. It should be fine. I want a really tight fit so it can slide in and out. Sweet. So I'm gonna try and show you what I mean here. I cut the smaller piece so it'll fit right in there. Okay, so what that does, this is virtually the same width as the pat as these things. So it's gonna be like that. No, sorry, like that. It's gonna be like that. This isn't quite big enough to fit over the whole tail, so we add this bit on right in there, and that should be good to go. So this is this is how it's set up for the weld. This bit of angle you can see here, that's not staying, that's just there to make sure this ends up nice and level because we've got this bit of angle here. So all I'm doing is I'm welding this bit to this bit. That's it. Then we've got to weld the nuts on those holes to give us something to uh, tighten the tail up with. Sweet! Let's give it 20 seconds of preheat. Baby, and I love it. Should come off very easily. Last time I said that, it didn't. Yeah, look at that. Okay. That's looking good. I want to see where else we need to weld it. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm just going to go pour some water on it. That's better. Now I'm just going to try and shift it up a little bit without it expanding. Still really hot. Still really hot. Give it some ad blue. It's not really ad blue. It's still very hot. Sorry, I'm just deciding. Just deciding what to do. No, you sure ain't coming off. That needs uh, finishing off inside. There's too much effort on my shoulder at the minute polishing this. So it's going to look a bit uh, dodgy for the minute, but when I'm better, I will polish this up. It will look sweet, but for now, we just want to get it flying. So that's how that ended up. And I'm clamping this down, and when I put the bolts in, it's going to push force all the way down, and it's not going to move. I don't have time to weld something on the inside here, but the pressure here combined with how much I've welded it on the outside it should be fine so now I've got to find M12 bolts. I've just realized that I've been a complete loon and uh, I've got problems in my cars and I had to leave it a family member so no car unfortunately no winch which is very depressing but I'll carry on with this uh, no flying today unfortunately I'll just carry on cleaning it up make it look as good as I can carry on <laughs> 